Hi, my spooky strangelings. Before we get started, I wanted to say that next week, we'll be going on a much needed hiatus. But don't worry, we'll be back with more scary stories as soon as we can. Hi, I'm Stephanie Strange. Want to hear something scary? Sometimes we can be so caught up in the perfect costume or accessory that we don't always fully consider the consequences of our actions. But be careful. What can seem like a mundane act can lead to something far more sinister. After all, urban legends have to originate from somewhere. Elena wanted an authentic Halloween costume. So she sneaked up to the attic to check out her family's old clothing trunks. Pulling down the dusty old ladder, she headed up realizing why she wasn't allowed there. It was dark and creepy. So she took in a deep breath as she climbed the ladder. She clicked on the light and in front of her was an oversized portrait of her stern, mean looking deceased great grandmother. She felt a spooky chill run down her spine. No wonder they barely visited and locked away her stuff. As Elena opened the trunk, she felt like the painting's eyes were following her. Digging through her great-grandmother's belongings, she pulled out a gorgeous 1920s French dress, and she knew she had to wear it. Holding it up in front of herself, she danced around the attic, stopping dead in front of the portrait when she realized it was the exact dress her great-grandmother was wearing in the painting. She also kind of looked like her, except her hair was all wrong. She needed the bob hairdo from the 1920s, like in the painting. Suddenly, she remembered she'd seen a wig at the bottom of the trunk. She was about to try it on when the doorbell rang. Clutching the wig and dress, she ran down the stairs to open the front door. We're going to be late, chastised her best friend, standing in the doorway and freaking out. Elena quickly got dressed and did her makeup. She looked in the mirror and she was thrilled with the result. She had a vintage, authentic look and she was sure to win the costume contest. The two left for the party, giggling at how she looked like a 1920s gangster. However, by the time they arrived at the party, Elena's mood had turned. She kept scratching at the wig. Having never worn one before, she had no idea it could feel so tight. It was itchy and crawly. They'd only ever been at a party for five minutes when the crawling sensation became almost unbearable. This wig is just so itchy. I don't think I can stand it for the whole night, she told her friend. Sweat was dripping down her back and she became weak in the knees. Her friend caught up to her and said, you have to keep it on for the contest. Her friend practically dragged her up on stage when it started. When it was Elena's turn to step into the spotlight, she didn't show up. The host looked around and called her up again. Then he looked closer. She was in the back of the stage, looking like she was about to collapse. Oh, oh God, cried the host, pointing at her wig. He watched as a small black spider emerged from under the wig, followed by another and then another. Elena's eyes rolled into the back of her head and she dropped to the floor. When she hit the ground, hundreds of black spiders crawled out from under it. Elena gasped, the pain jolting her back. She shrieked as the spiders covered her face, thrashing around on the ground while slapping at the spiders as they traveled down her arms. Great costume, how does she do that? One person asked. Some guests giggled and cheered in awe at the convincing performance until she jerked the wig from her head. A sea of baby spiders burst from under it, scattering everywhere. They began crawling out of her ears and eyes. Some partygoers screamed and fled, realizing that this was real. Her friend grabbed the punch bowl and drenched her in the liquid. The spiders dispersed, leaving Elena with swollen red marks. Although she was awake and seemingly okay, the light in her eyes was gone. Her parents were grateful she was alive, but they were still worried, especially when she said she had been in the attic. A spider had spun a nest inside the wig, and the little creepy crawlies had just hatched in time for the Halloween costume party. The good news was she won the costume contest, but even that couldn't cheer her up 
was she learned the truth. Sweetie, your great-grandmother's things were locked away because they thought it was necessary to keep her belongings separate. You know, there was a similar situation involving spiders once, and during the weeks that came after, something really frightening happened to her. She started losing her sanity and, and she... Her mother went silent. What, mom? What happened? Elena begged, now nervous. One week later, she was dead, her mother replied. The autopsy revealed that her body was full of spiders. Elena's mouth fell open in astonishment and disbelief and fear. And in that fleeting moment, as if time had slowed down, her mother's heart skipped a beat. It was then when she thought she glimpsed a shadow of a spider darting across Elena's eye. Thanks so much for listening. Like and share if this video gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. See you next time.